How's it going, survivors? I'm the Zombieman211. Thank you for surviving long enough to see my videos. It means a lot to me. Anyway, let's get on with what we haven't started yet. Another episode of Zombie Mod Review. And so this mod is WeCraft. And there's been a little bit of changes to the building, as you guys will see, but WeCraft is a very interesting mod. And as you guys know, I like to find mods that are interesting that don't have that don't have very many mod reviews for them so that you guys can be more informed because I like mm. being more unique and finding the mods that not that many people have done mod reviews on. Hi cow. Anyway, so this one is WeCraft and it's a few different kinds of machines. And I, as you can see, I'm using I use mm. little blocks for this mod or for this for my building now. So let's get inside. And I'm also using the faithful texture pack. Okay, sorry, I had to fix something, so, whoops. So, as you can see, it took me, like, 20 minutes to 20 minutes to 30, 20 to 30 minutes to make this, uh, the stairs out of little blocks, but it was fun, kind of, I guess. And then the lights, and then you go down here, and I have it. I have everything you need all in this small little room and then there's this little light. So first things first, there's um so there's this uh it's called the burner. It can be applied with uh I believe I hooked it up. Yeah. As as you can see when you guys guys this is used as um, a target, and when you hit it, it sets off a redstone signal. It'd be cool if, like, the closer you got into the middle, um, it, like, sent off a uh, higher redstone signal. And then if you hit it, like, out here, it would set off a smaller redstone signal, but it doesn't do that. And so, but you see, it can, the burner can be powered with redstone, and you can also right click it. And then there's the, um, the time sensor. And what the time sensor does is, alright, I'll be right back. Back. Um,. What the time sensor does, I just had to adjust something by the way. What the time sensor does is that uh, when it's a certain time of day, <laughs> it sets off a redstone signal if it's set for that time of day. This is for day, and then this is night. This is when it's turning into night, I believe. And then this is when it's turning into morning, I believe. <coughs> so I guess evening and then early in the morning. Early in the morning. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so let's see so this redstone is set for this and this and then this redstone is set for these two as you can see it's night time right. and then there's it's whoops and now it's not on anymore because it's not it's like because the, cha the time of day has changed and then I use little blocks because the water is pouring out of here as you can see this is the water tank anyways you can put water or lava in here anyway so um this is gonna demonstrate demonstrate multiple things and by the way, I'm not doing a mod review for Little Blocks right now because, well, actually ever because it's, uh, many mod reviews have been done f uh, for Little Blocks. You just search it on YouTube and then you get tons of videos of it. Anyway, so this is WeCraft. Um, so you can do this. I probably should have put a lever. And so the water comes all the way down to here. And then if you drop an item, this 
is a metal mesh. So anything can, or any items can go through it. Any items, but nothing else goes through it. Like no water, no uh, mobs, not you. Uh, just items and only items. So look. Give me a minute. Okay, guys. So I'm sorry, but with item physics, uh, it's a little bit. Uh, it makes the item float. So it's not working with that. I'm sorry, but um, I'll just show you it from here anyway. And well, anyways, you guys see how this works. Anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of the water or else it won't go down. So look, it goes through. As you guys can see, that did not work like like I meant it to. It went through and then it fell down. As you guys can see, that fully works. And then I have one less. Oh, I guess it's more like two last things to show you. Anyways, so this is the drill. Well, actually, it's yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, two last things. So conveyor belt and the drill. So yeah, I just right click and then it starts breaking under it. And then the conveyor belt drags items or mobs or just you, whatever you wanna. You know, it drags you. As you can see. And then the drill. You can see this goes down. This isn't a, an actual block. But it keeps on going down until it hits bedrock. And then the conveyor belt just, you know, moves things around. And I want to show you one more thing with the conveyor belt. So what you can do is stuff like, uh, and then it goes down here and like it drops. So look. Well, first. So look you just drop something on here and then it does fall so and then it goes like that this is a fairly short mod review it's not that big of a mod okay thanks for watching my video survivors and if you like this video don't take a like leave one here where it feels at home and if you subscribe you can survive long enough to watch my next video anyway don't forget to gear up and survive bye